I'm Silvio and this is part 2 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. I was very ashamed when I started editing the first video, essentially because of my poor grammar and all the errors I had made during the shooting, but also because I forgot to mention a lot of important things concerning the first part of the layout. But try to understand me, it was my first video, my tension and anxiety were almost unbearable. If you are good observers, you may already have noticed that uh, compared to last video, there is a slightly difference in the positioning of the tracks. I will explain the reasons in just a few moments. This video will focus essentially in resolving the problem caused by the tracks going over the edge of the styrofoam panel and will also start creating from styrofoam the support for the tracks climbing. Obviously, the majority of the sequences will be shot using the action camera. I made some little improvements so I hope that audio quality will be better this time because uh, in last video it was very very rough. Here we are with the action camera and the new microphone. Just uh, let me take a few moments to explain something I forgot to mention last time. Those styrofoam panels are very lightweight, so they tend to slide off essentially because they have no weight on them at the moment. To avoid this situation, I had to find a solution, so I've introduced the use of some uh, small uh, pins. Uh, let's open this box of small pins, and you will see that they are metallic pins, U-shaped metallic pins. They, let's place one of them like this, in this position. And this is a quick and effective solution if you want to eliminate at this stage any unsolicited movements of the uh, panels. Let's check. I placed one, two and three of them. And like this, I have no more sliding in this direction. And also I don't have any more sliding in this other direction. They don't come apart anymore, those panels. I have just another small clarification to make. And we really move ahead. Last time I mentioned multiple times the word track pins, but I forgot to, to show them to you. So let's get a box of uh, track pins, and as you can see they are nothing else than uh, little uh, black nails that can be used on the tracks, because all tracks have those small holes here and here, and uh, at the moment this track is not very stable, you see here and here, but if I place one uh, track pins here, then I took one other pins and I place in this other hole, and the third one here in this other hole, and then the track now is more stable. So track pins I view are used to stabilize uh, tracks. Now, get rid of track pins and of uh, small pins, and let's go ahead with, with serious things. Uh, you certainly remember this little sketch because I have included it in my uh, last video and let's compare the two tracks layout. Last time I've started from this point and I've laid down one, two, three, four and five straight tracks. This point in reality corresponds to this red X here. So last time this edge of the tracks, of the straight tracks, was aligned with this edge uh, of the uh, paper tape. So essentially I've just made uh, vertical translations of all the uh, tracks. And uh, for all the other section, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, on the plan you can see I have uh, the tracks going over the edge of the styrofoam panel and here we have the tracks going over the edge of the styrofoam panel. Next section you will see a little difference. Here we have on the sketch uh, the tracks going over the edge of the panels here, but now the tracks are perfectly on the uh, panel. I've just made some vertical and horizontal translation. Let's go and check uh, 
like the other side of the layout. Um, here on the sketch we have a long straight section of tracks going over the edge of the uh, styrofoam uh, panel. But uh, as you can see now, the tracks are perfectly aligned with the, the uh, panel. I've just made all the tracks sliding over there. Why? Essentially because I thought uh, it was a better solution, a smarter solution, to just have to modify the layout of the panels uh, from one side than from both sides. So uh, I will show you two solutions to the problem, one normal solution and one smart solution. Back to our little plan, and let's talk about the problem we have here and how to solve it. As I said before, I will show you two solutions, so first solution first. Let's say I have the need to maintain together two styrofoam objects of any kind, or that for layout planning I need to maintain together one horizontal part of styrofoam with a vertical part of styrofoam. What will I use? Wood skewers, or bamboo skewers if you prefer, they come in different shapes and sizes, and they are commonly used during barbecues. Let's try to figure out how to use them properly. Let me just remind you that I still have the section of styrofoam I cut from this uh, panel and uh, let's see what I can do with it. So let's talk about the train, it will roll over the section of the tracks and will certainly fall off because the tracks has, have no lower support. So let's get uh, the missing part of uh, this panel and let's see what I can do with it and with some skewers. Let's get three skewers and let's thread them into the panel. One at the far end position, like this, one, first one, the second almost in the middle, right here, up, roughly done, and the third one at the beginning, here in this position, oops, sorry, uh, so second try, okay. So let's help us with those uh, skewers and let's try to get joined together the two pieces of styrofoam. I just need to slide carefully one piece toward the other and the, the edges will match perfectly as they were cut from the same uh, panel. Here we are, uh, not perfect but uh, almost uh, good. This is certainly not the ideal solution but it's the quickest uh, one. Uh, so let's try to have uh, a more secure joining between those two panels with the help of some metal pins. Let's get my box of uh, small pins and let's grab a bunch of them. Then uh, let's place them over the joining of the two panels, one here, the second one here, then a third one here. Now let's grab uh, some more of them and place uh, one at the beginning of the joining one uh, in the middle right here and then uh, one more here in the middle and one at the be very beginning of the joining uh, uh, like this. Now we have a better support uh, for uh, our tracks and the train will certainly not uh, fall off when rolling over this uh, section of tracks. But uh, probably the added section uh, has an exaggerated width and we could have done uh, better because we only needed one or two centimeters over uh, the edge of uh, the tracks here for ballasting and we could certainly have cut the panel uh, all uh, along this imaginary uh, line here. So let's uh, try to measure the ideal uh, width. I got my ruler, so let's measure the ideal width starting from the edge of the panel. Here we are, let's go. The tracks are ending around 39 or 40 centimeters, 39 here, 40 here. So I will need one or two more centimeters for uh, ballasting. Let's say then that the ideal width will be 42 uh, centimeters and it's a good compromise. 
I will certainly not cut it right now because it's time for the second solution, the smartest solution and uh, I didn't mention it before but sometimes you have to dismantle all section of your project in order to get a better result so now we have to dismantle all this section of uh, the project included the, the tracks and we'll have to cover the surface of the plywood with a new, uh, with a new panel and the panel will absolutely need a new form of uh, support I got one, two, three more support brackets and my electrical drill so let's go over this dismantled uh, section let's measure 42 centimeters uh, starting from the edge of the styrofoam uh, panel here we are 42 centimeters let's grab the first uh, bracket and let's position it uh, in order to have uh, good support for the uh, panel let's say that if we maintain here the bracket let's say first, uh, second, third, fourth all aligned with the uh, plywood edge it will be a good uh, solution but it will be certainly a very noisy work so let's roll some music Let's check out the result, let's get the ruler and let's measure the middle bracket 41.5 cm from the edge of the panel then the first one, here we have 41.5 cm and the third one 41.5 cm so I, the brackets are correctly positioned and it's time to get the new styrofoam panel in place brand new styrofoam panel so let's go and measure 42 centimeters from each side here we are with the first side 42 centimeters here then the opposite side here we are oops sorry 42 centimeters here let's grab my old but effective wood ruler and let's trace our straight line uh, positioning there, then along uh, the ruler like that. Okay, now the line uh, is uh, traced. Let's go to the cutting uh, table. Uh, let's switch on the table and let's give uh, some few seconds uh, to the wire to get hot. Uh, let's place the panel. Uh, as usual on the table uh, oops maybe uh, the wrong positioning I'm getting some problems with the alignment so maybe it's better if I turn the panel the opposite way let's go okay let's replace it uh, correctly now it seems to be better okay uh, just a little adjustment to the camera otherwise we will see nothing and then we can proceed it will be certainly a long process so it's better if he, we continue with some more uh, music Let's get rid of this section 
and let's grab the correct panel and let's place it on the plywood like this uh, as always the cut at edge will be placed towards the outside of the structure and it will as always uh, be covered in future by something else let's get it in place like this and from the other side one more touch here and there let's grab some uh, small pins and let's uh, maintain joined the panel with the uh, pins uh, up just a little adjustment uh, for the camera uh, second pin I will place it uh, there then I took more pins a third one in this uh, position like that some more adjustments sorry let's check out the alignment then okay is good so more uh, pins uh, uh, let's see if I got three no let's say it's good enough like this now let's just go and check what is happening at the right of the panel we just uh, placed I absolutely dislike uh, this uh, section here there is a too rough uh, difference between those two uh, edges so let's try to find a solution uh, let me remind you that I still have the uh, part I've cut from this uh, panel so let's try to find out if I can use it to improve the situ situation and let me also point out that the section will certainly not support any weight on it so it uh, will be a pure and simply aesthetic uh, solution to the problem caused by uh, the difference between the, the two edges uh, let's measure the initial uh, uh, width we'll need let's say 11.5 centimeters yes correct uh, let's report it exactly on the, the uh, panel uh, 11.5 centimeters uh, okay let's go 11.5 centimeters here then let's say that uh, uh, half of the panel let's say 50 centimeters will be enough uh, for the opposite side yes 50 centimeters let's have uh, 50 centimeters measured on this section and here we are with 50 centimeters uh, let's grab my ruler and let's join those two points as always here we go uh, just a little positioning then I will trace the line like this okay uh, so maybe I think that I will go and free from here to there because uh, okay like this a uh, little curve here and there one more time here we go like this okay why I'm doing this uh, simply because I think that a uh, curved uh, profile, a curved edge or, or uh, an irregular edge will be better suited for my uh, solution. In nature we don't have uh, many uh, straight uh, edges uh, and the nature is full of irregular profile, of irregular edges. So let's say that this way uh, the aesthetic solution will be better, uh, uh, will have a better look. So let's go to uh, the cutting uh, table and let's have it uh, done. Let's go and check if uh, it was a good uh, cut. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh yes. For a moment I thought I made a mistake uh, cutting it, but no, no, no. It's good. It's good enough. It, it get a good look. Now let's have it positioned a little bit better and let's grab some uh, pins and uh, let's uh, secure it in uh, place. Uh, first pin uh, here, 
like this then a second pin uh, maybe in the middle right here like this and then uh, some more because I need it to be as, uh, as stable as possible so there's one here then another one maybe here in the middle uh, then uh, this one will be placed at the far side uh, like this then another one uh, here oh, good and one from the corner the corner here then I will continue with some more pins because uh, even if the structure won't be supporting any weight it's better to uh, secure it correctly okay let's see if it's enough just a little one here at the edge and then one more here okay uh, here we go again one here let's exaggerate this time one other here and one other here okay let's see uh, let's adjust a little bit the camera La uh, okay one more here yeah, at the point um, let's see from the distance also okay not bad not bad not bad okay I'm satisfied now we need to reconnect the tracks so let's get rid of some uh, uh, stuff we have here let's uh, get rid of uh, the drill of uh, some pins there uh, and let's bring uh, the section I detached before uh, and let's uh, reconnect uh, the two section of tracks first one in here like this okay oh, sorry uh, take two okay Okay, good. Then the other uh, hand need to be reconnected to all the other sections. Let's adjust the camera another time. Just a little bit more. Okay, now let's reconnect these two sections also. Uh, voila, done and done. Uh, let's get an overall look. Yes, yes, yes. This will uh, end this uh, second solution. The problem is definitely uh, resolved. Uh, let's uh, clean up a uh, little bit the stage before proceeding. So let's talk briefly about this final layout of the tracks. This will be a Christmas village and not a railroad diorama. So mostly of these tracks will be covered by some uh, styrofoam. And just a few sections of tracks will be uh, visible. Especially along this uh, straight stretch of tracks where I will add a bridge. And it will have an 8 around 15 centimeters. Then my intention is to add a real uh, river flowing down towards us with a real water flowing towards us. Last year, when I've introduced for the first time a big water feature, uh, more precisely my waterfalls from last year video, I was very afraid that uh, something could happen uh, with all the electrical cabling involved in the uh, project. But uh, I had no problem at all, so I thought that this year it would be a good improvement to add some uh, real uh, river with uh, real uh, flowing uh, water. But I also know that it will be a great challenge because I've only planned it in my mind and I've uh, worked on some solution, but uh, I have no idea if I will uh, be able to get a decent result with this uh, river. Now, let's recap. Uh, at some point I will need the train to start the climbing of the project because I need it to reach 15 centimeters all along this section where the 15 centimeters 8 bridge will be placed. So I have to plan where to start the climbing, maybe here, maybe there or maybe somewhere else. I just need it to reach 15 centimeters right there. 
then the train will be start climbing down the project and we will be finally done with the train tracks but uh, let me just uh, uh, show you a little experiment before going deeply into the uh, climbing explanation my little experiment I've just cut the two almost identical pieces of styrofoam and they have a width of 6.5 centimeters. This is the perfect width for laying down the tracks and having enough space from each side for the ballast. You can easily understand that this is the perfect solution for the straight tracks. But every straight track will be at some point joined to a curved track and without any doubt, no matter how I try to fix the problem, this will never happen. I will always have problems using this solution with curved uh, tracks. And if I try to bend uh, the styrofoam, game over. Last year I was sincerely struggling with this problem, but then meditating on forces, reactions, and a way to bend those reactions, I thought about a solution. So let me show you. Let's start by uh, measuring 2.5 uh, centimeters here uh, at the top of this piece of styrofoam and uh, down there let's measure 4.5 uh, centimeters then i will uh, draw each four centimeters uh, a little a line let's say first here second at eight then fourth then zero then i have space for maybe two more lines let's see uh, three no just uh, two more lines one uh, at four and one at uh, zero centimeters uh, same thing from the other side um, four centimeters between each uh, lines let's go uh, 16 20 16 then 12 8 4 and zero do I have more space? Let's check out. Uh, yes, I have more. one more line here. And now let's uh, trace some lines. Starting from this side, I will uh, draw uh, four centimeters long lines. And from the opposite side, I will draw five centimeters long uh, lines right here. Then I will continue with the same marking all along uh, the uh, piece of uh, styrofoam, the third one here, then the fourth one here, oops, fourth one, and let's go on with another one here, and another one here, like that. From this side all lines will be four centimeters long, and I will mark them like that and then another one here and another one there and then uh, maybe last one and do we have more space? yes yes let's mark also this one four centimeters now let's go to the cutting table and let's do some fun uh, cuttings but uh, I just need to switch on the uh, table. Uh, from this side I will uh, just do uh, forward and uh, backward cuts like this uh, one, then backward, next one, uh, all the same cutting, backward, then another time forward, then backward, and so on forward and backward and just two or three more cuts backward then here we are forward and backward then the last one also forward and backward here we go 
but from the other side I will do some uh, some U-shaped uh, cuts. Let's go forward, then let's turn left, and let's uh, go backward, and let's uh, continue like this all along. Forward, let's turn left, let's go backward. Okay, second one, third one, let's go forward, then let's turn left, then let's go backward. Odd one, this one forward, then turning left, then go backward like this, uh, forward, and left, and backward. So let's one, go forward, right, no, left, and backward. Oops, oh, awful, this one. Now let's bring it to the table and let's see what it will happen. Let's try to bend it something like that. Uh, oops, the styrofoam won't break anymore. It could be easily bent when ever I need it to bend and uh, bend it completely or partially if you need uh, to it depends on the situation and if I need to place it under a curved track here we go no problem let's align it better like this and uh, it will fit any kind of any type of uh, curved uh, tracks and without uh, breaking because all the reaction forces involved in the bending can uh, vent uh, easily throughout all the cuttings I've made. So my little experiment has come to an end. Uh, just remember how useful are those little uh, cuttings for our project, for your project. Let's go with some explanations and those little schematics will certainly help me. Uh, this is essentially the first schematics and it represents the uh, cuttings I've just made here. I will use these schematics for all the uh, support uh, styrofoam pieces I will need to climb the train. From this side the first marking was a 2 cm or 0.98 inches, from the opposite side 4.5 cm or 1.77 inches. Then each step had a width of 4 cm or 1.57 inches. All the sections that I will cut will have a width of 6.5 cm as I explained uh, before and uh, that's that's so oh maybe you haven't seen them 6.5 cm or 2.56 inches let's go back uh, one year let's talk about the climbing I've made uh, last year I've cut uh, triangular sections of uh, uh, styrofoam having a width of uh, 50 cm or 19.68 inches the, the, the first one started from 0 0.2 uh, cm or 0 0.079 and uh, climbed up to 4.13 cm or 1.62 uh, inches. Uh, that means that uh, two section aligned will have a length of uh, 100 uh, centimeters or 39.37 uh, inches. The second one started from 4.13 up to 8.07 centimeters. This is equivalent to 80 centimeters of climbing each 100 centimeters of length and it corresponds to 8% of a steepness. In real life, train can go no more than 3 or 4% in uh, steepness. So obviously all these uh, schematics uh, was exaggerated last year and that's why my train had enormous difficulties uh, climbing all over the top of my project.
and my engine could not drag more than uh, two uh, wagons uh, on the tracks. So this year I made a little improvement and I made a new uh, schematics. Let's analyze it. The section will still have 50 centimeters uh, of length and uh, will start from 0.2 centimeters up to uh, 2.6 centimeters or 0 0.92 uh, inches. Each section will climb no more than 2.36 centimeters and this is almost equivalent to reality because it corresponds to 4% of uh, steepness. Next uh, table is just representing all the section I will have to cut in order to reach uh, the 15 uh, centimeters. I have divided the table in centimeters and inches so it can be understood by everyone. Here we will start from 0.2 centimeters. Each section will go up 2.36 centimeters, except for the last one that will go up 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 section having a length of 50 centimeters will have to be prepared in order to get from 0 up to 15 centimeters. Obviously, the same thing will happen if we use uh, inches. Now, considering that it is best suited to climb the project using just straight uh, tracks or almost uh, as straight tracks as possible, uh, do we have enough solution to lay down 12 sections? Because I will need a six section to climb up the project, then another uh, six section to climb down the project. Let's try to figure it out. I've just cut a 50 centimeters long piece of nylon rope and uh, let's see if I have enough uh, space to lay down a six uh, section of uh, styrofoam supports. Uh, let me just adjust a little bit the camera and let's say I will start from this point and I will lay down the first uh, section like this then from this point we will start the second section and I will reach a curved section of uh, tracks I know that I've said before that it's suitable to use uh, straight tracks but this is not even a quarter of a uh, full circle so those, this section will be suitable for climbing up and I will have uh, then at my disposal a very long uh, stretch of straight tracks so I think I can reach 15 centimeters uh, of height without uh, no problems and all the six uh, sections will be laid down uh, properly. The bridge will probably end at this point, so there's uh, the point where I will start to climb down the uh, project. Uh, and I will have at my disposal essentially cover the section of tracks, except for this uh, uh, long and straight uh, section here that I will use for something else. I will not use the rope to check out if I have enough space for the climb uh, down because even with just uh, covered uh, tracks the train will have absolutely no problem climbing down from the top. And now uh, it's time to start some serious cuttings. Let's start making some styrofoam track supports. I will follow my beloved schematics and all my section will have a length of 50 centimeters and the first one will start from 0.2 centimeters up to 2.36 centimeters as I've said before. Uh, I think that I will start detailing exactly uh, all the first section cuttings then I will probably skip down to the sixth section because I don't want to bore anyone. Let's make some tracing for the first section cuttings. Uh, the section will need to be 6.5 centimeters uh, large so I will mark 6.5 centimeters from each side from the first side here then I will uh, certainly need to measure uh, 50 centimeters because that's uh, the length of the first uh, section so let's go with uh, 50 centimeters 
a little line in here and uh, let's uh, trace uh, um, let's check if I have also from this side the 6.5 centimeters yes I have them let's join those two uh, little points and uh, I will be ready for the f cuttings of the third section here we go let's uh, cut it on the uh, hot wire uh, table I just need to recheck my plan yes uh, 0 0.2 centimeters up to 2.36 centimeters I've just forgot to mark them on the side of the piece of panel I will uh, cut so let's go with 0 0.2 uh, centimeters little tricky uh, first section it's always tricky here we have 0.2 uh, centimeters and after 50 centimeters I will have to mark 2.36 uh, centimeters here is the marking for 50 centimeters then I will measure 2.36 centimeters like that almost 24.4 centimeters little more adjustment and we are good like that now um, I need to uh, join this point with uh, with the other uh, point from the beginning of the section let's uh, mark it uh, properly I know it's a bit uh, frustrating the first section is always frustrating here we we are good now we can really go to the uh, hot wire uh, table and uh, and finally make the first uh, cuttings and this uh, point will be real tricky because I will have absolutely no margins for errors and let's have some music it's better section seems to have been cut uh, properly and uh, starting from 0 0.2 up to 2.36 uh, centimeter and uh, even if uh, it's not uh, perfectly smooth on the top it is a good uh, a good result it will be certainly covered by something else as you can imagine I will also not uh, marking it for uh, uh, bending uh, cuttings uh, because uh, uh, it will support uh, an essentially straight uh, section of tracks uh, so no need for uh, bending at all let's go ahead with uh, cutting uh, all the first five uh, sections I will uh, need uh, next one is the second one and then I will just uh, only show you some of the bending cuttings uh, because it's uh, all over and over again the same uh, process and it's just a matter of making them more or less uh, thick so let's go ahead all the first five uh, climbing supports have been uh, cutted now uh, I think it's time to uh, placing them where they need to be placed obviously let's take the first uh, section and let's go where I show you before 
I will use id so let's detach uh, some uh, uh, some tracks uh, right here let's uh, take off some track pins and let's detach and uh, uh, straight tracks from the curved tracks uh, I will positioning it like this some little adjustments and then I will pick up some uh, wood skewers and I will secure the section in place when I start positioning a support section I never use glue but just skewers this because I need to be sure that the position I give them will be the final positioning and if I glue them I will also destroy them if I need to move them somewhere else Let's just lay down the tracks to the original uh, position and let's go grab the second uh, section and let's check out if it uh, fits uh, the continuation of the uh, tracks. Uh, here we are. You will immediately notice that uh, it will uh, support a curved uh, section of uh, tracks. So uh, this uh, uh, second section has to be marked for uh, bending so let's go and have it prepared because it need to be like this one at the end and it just need to be marked and uh, cut uh, properly last cuttings for this section is done so let's go back to the original positioning look how it bent correctly and uh, let's uh, place it uh, under the tracks let's just detach one more uh, track like this and one more pin and then let's uh, place the uh, support uh, in the right uh, position like that uh, just need some more uh, positioning What's happening? I'm having uh, problems uh, curving uh, Why is so... Oh, duh! It's in the wrong position! <laughs> it needs to be turned upside down like that. Sorry, big mistake. And let's grab some more uh, skewers and let's uh, uh, secure this uh, search section where it should uh, be. Uh, one more positioning, then one more skewer right there before starting the uh, curved section. 
let's reconnect uh, some uh, tracks like uh, this uh, okay done then let's check out the next session let's reconnect the first uh, uh, the last uh, sorry the last uh, straight track and the first uh, curved uh, tracks like uh, this always tricky reconnecting the uh, tracks uh, one more effort come on let's go yeah good done then the last uh, part of uh, the support uh, need to be bended a little bit uh, like uh, that and then uh, one more skewer to maintain it in place and uh, it will be uh, done let's uh, remove some uh, track uh, pins and let's detach some more uh, tracks uh, before uh, going to uh, the next uh, step or maybe I should have uh, repositioned the camera sorry but let's remove uh, tracks, let's detach tracks, and then uh, let's uh, go and see where we are. Obviously, I will have to uh, slide forward all the structure because I will need to work uh, down there. So let's go make uh, some uh, preparation and some uh, final uh, cuttings. Then I will uh, see you for an update. I've just finished uh, with all the cuttings I needed to do and I obviously switched the point of uh, view. So now let's uh, have uh, all the supports in place and check if all is uh, uh, suitable for the final steps of the climbing. Don't worry, I know that I've already been too long for this uh, second uh, video, so let's uh, just accelerate a little bit the pace and hear some more music. sixth section I have a little problem it need to go from 12 to 15 centimeters but uh, I have only uh, uh, panels having a maximum height of 12 centimeters so I will certainly have to glue two pieces of uh, styrofoam one on top of uh, the other so let's go and see how it can be done
Now let's uh, glue those uh, two pieces of uh, styrofoam together in order to get the final uh, result. I generally use some uh, vinylic glue because it is very effective and it dries very uh, quickly. So uh, let's uh, pour some uh, glue. Here we go. Uh, just a quick way backward and forward a few uh, times like this. Oh, so good. Another time right there. Okay, final. Okay, then let's uh, grab my glue uh, brush. But where is my glue brush? Just need to find it. Come on, glue brush, you know. Okay, let's go. Found it. Let's brush uh, very roughly the glue on the surface like this. Uh, just need to be. Uh, covered all the surface and uh, I will uh, uh, glue the two pieces uh, together one more final touch like this and uh, we are uh, almost uh, uh, good yeah don't exaggerate yeah go ahead uh, all right then uh, let's uh, grab uh, the final piece and let's glue it on top of uh, the other like uh, that just need to apply some uh, pressure on top of it and voila we are done uh, let's just give the glue the time to dry a little bit then i will mark it for the final cuttings let's see if the eight correspond 12 cm from this side and 15 cm from the other side perfect let's just wait uh, a little bit then i will uh, uh, cut it uh, properly for the final positioning a few moments later here we are with the uh, sixth and final uh, section concerning the uh, climbing. Let's uh, just uh, positioning it correctly. final skewer is in place okay now let's see what I'll need to do in order to uh, continue uh, I will certainly need to reach uh, that uh, point down there and I will need to do it with just uh, straight and level the tracks having an 8 or 15 centimeters because I need to place the bridge as I said before, then I will start from this point, the climbing down, going all over the tracks until I reach finally again 0 cm of 8. But obviously the procedure will be exactly the same as before, so let me go ahead and have some more uh, sections in place, then we'll uh, meet for an update. All has just gone as uh, planned and all the sections are in place. Uh, third, fourth, fifth and sixth uh, section as uh, seen before. Then I've just added some uh, leveled sections having each an 8 of 15 centimeters because I need to reach this point with the same 8 of 15 centimeters. So let's change a little bit the point of view. You will immediately see that things have uh, 
uh, proceed uh, the well. This uh, 37 centimeters uh, uh, opening is representing the bridge I will add successively. Then after a few centimeters after the uh, bridge I've started the uh, climbing uh, down and I will uh, continue this way until I will uh, reach again uh, zero centimeters or ground uh, zero. Uh, so let's uh, see you in uh, many moments. As promised, let's have a final recap. I've added uh, one more section starting from 12 centimeters down to 9.64 uh, centimeters. Then I've left untouched a very long section of tracks. This because at the moment I still don't know the outcome of the river I will try to add here in the middle. Starting flowing down from a certain height in the back and reaching I think around uh, this point in some sort of a lake. So I will certainly finish this support section at a later uh, time. I've also finished the climb down, adding uh, three more uh, sections, starting from uh, 7.28 centimeters and finally reaching uh, ground level at this point. So all along uh, this video, I've started uh, the climbing from uh, this corner. I've reached the level I needed to reach without exaggerating with uh, steepness. And then I've uh, climbed down the project, uh, finishing at the opposite corner. Next step will be a challenging moment because I will uh, have to add a river and I'm going toward it absolutely blindly because I have just some ideas and I have absolutely no plans. Please try to forgive me because I already know that this video has been too long. I just realized a few moments ago when I downloaded all the footage from the action camera to my PC that even after editing this video will be insanely long. But the arguments were extended and it was the first time I was showing you my cutting technique that I will use not only just for creating track supports but also a variety of other objects included street furniture. Now I absolutely need to start making the river, otherwise I will never be able to finish the last support section. But it's time to end this second video. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.